Hey guys, hope you all had a fabulous week. So in today's video, we'll be conducting an experiment which involves flower petals. So this is going to be pretty fun. Uh, what we'll be doing is identifying bleaching powder from other chemicals. Bleaching powder, also known as calcium oxochloride, is a chemical which is used for cleaning in our daily lives. So without a further ado, let's move on to today's experiment. The materials required for today's activity are four test tubes in a test tube stand, water, bleaching powder, then calcium carbonate, sodium chloride and ammonium chloride, dilute sulfuric acid, a spoon to scoop out the chemicals with and finally a flower which, whose petals are dark in color. For mine I have chosen rose petals. Before we move on, what do you call a bunch of iron atoms at a carnival? It is called a ferrous wheel. <laughs> First, take the test tubes and add in 2 to 3 grams of salt in each one of these test tubes and add in 10 ml of water to every test tube. So, I have added the chemicals in this order. The first test tube contains sodium chloride, second test tube contains calcium carbonate, third one ammonium chloride and the last one contains bleaching powder. Now let's go ahead and add in 10 ml of water into each of these test tubes. Next you need 4 more containers. I chose to take test tubes itself and you need to add dilute sulfuric acid into each one of them. Around 5 to 6 ml would work. Next, take one rose petal and dip it in each one of these liquids and leave them back in sulfuric acid. So now that we have all the preparations ready and we have dipped all the petals, we have to wait for some time. Now that it has been 5 minutes, we can check on the rose petals in each of these test tubes. Just drain out the excess sulfuric acid and leave out the petals to dry for some time on a piece of paper. This is the petal which was in the bleaching powder and these are the ones in other liquids. So as you can see these have different colors. There is slight discoloration in the left one. What exactly happened here is when the petal was dipped in bleaching powder and then put into dilute sulfuric acid there was a reaction between these two that is bleaching powder and dilute sulfuric acid which helped in the formation of hypochlorous acid. This hypochlorous acid helps in oxidation and hence there is discoloration in the petal. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to the Science Org for quality content from my side. Also, leave all your comments and suggestions down below and click the bell icon to never miss any of my updates. Bye, meet you in the next video.